Hi there. If you don't know what that music is, it's from a TV show called Countdown. Yeah. Countdown. Uh, yeah. It's an old, old programme, which is on Channel 4 here in the UK. And what is this? It's about uh, contestants that go on. Two contestants. And they pick a vowel or a consonant. And they make a word. The spell word or whatever gets took out a box. And it's quite good. Countdown, it's called. Anyway, that was the theme. Do 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 do. Countdown. You get they get thirty seconds to do a uh, do a, a word. Anyway, right. I'm Gibberin. This is just a quick, quick video. I just thought I'd come on tonight on the birthday. Do a quick video. Here a good day. Tons of drink there. When I drink alcohol, I've got an awful habit of eating. No wonder I'm fatty. I've got an awful habit of eating. And I suppose that's a good thing as well when you're drinking because you're lining your stomach with food. But I do eat a lot of rubbish at times. Right, David's here, he's having a drink with us. He's upstairs just now. I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm going to show you this. If I could show you this first, this bit, you'll maybe know what I'm on about. Dame. Dame bar. See that? Dame. Dame bars are really good. The chocolate's really nice on them. And it's like a toffee, a really buttery toffee. And they're really nice. But, this is not a Dame bar. This is a, a Mulka. The Swiss company that do the chocolate Mulka. See that? But they've put Dame into it. Dame. Um, Mulka was an old, old company. but well, they are an old, old company. And their chocolate's made in Switzerland. But majority of it, majority of it now is made in Germany. Mocha chocolate, but with a Dame bar. Dame used to be called a Dime bar, if you could remember. Maybe you can't, because you're not as old as me. Uh, David got me this anyway. I'll show you what it's like. It's a chocolate bar. And it's made by Mondelez, the company who took over Toblerone and everything. Mondelez. That's the chocolate here. David's there. You want to come down and try a bit? On... Oh, he's mucking about. Here's David. Oh, Say hello, David. Time. Happy night. No, you're not allowed to. Skittles just want some. He's not allowed chocolate because cocoa's poisonous for dogs. Right. It's a dame bar. Dime, dame. Made by the company Mondelez now, who took it over. Made it. As I say, 90% of their chocolates made in Germany now, but they were a Swiss, a Swiss company in Switzerland. Two things I like, I'll say it again, is milk of chocolate. I think it's fantastic chocolate. It's really nice. Made with alpine milk. 100% alpine milk it's made with. And I also like the Dame Bars, which used to be called Dime Bars. Here it is here. I'm not going to eat all this. I'll eat two bits. You want a bit, Dave, up? Do you want to try a bit and tell us what you think? This is for the video. Right, here we go. We'll talk about that. It's nice as all. It's really creamy, eh? It's really creamy. And we the uh, dame they've put in it. Hello. The dame Hello. bars are buttery. I'm locked up with Willy Wonka here. Hmm. And I ain't the flat cake. It's good to be a bit. Sorry, you don't want to say that. I'm not going to argue. I'm going to eat up. So that's Mulka chocolate, great company, great chocolate, Alpine milk, but we dame, bits of dame bar in it, you know the toffee bits, the buttery toffee, 100 gram bar, how much was that Dave, how much was that, <coughs> one pound thirty, Dave paid for that, 100 gram bar, WorldWideWebMilka.com Mondelez, the company that took over all your chocolate bars. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Milka Dame Bar. Highly recommend that. It's really buttery, eh? Yeah, good for Christmas, David says. Skittles is there. He's wanting some, but he's not allowed to because it's chocolate. And this is what I'll know. Cocoa is poisonous for dogs. 
Right, I'll get going just now. Have a nice night. I am having a drink, and I think that's about it. Look after yourself. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And David wants to say something else. All right. While I'm at it, another review on something. I'm not very keen on them. The company is called Sweet Zone. And they've got a massive website if you want to check it out. If you go onto Google and check out Sweet Zone Sweets. They do loads of different things. Marshmallows, toffees, chews. <coughs> These are called Fizzy Blue Bottles. These were a pound from the local store. You get them in shops like Asda and Tesco sells them. And you can also buy their stuff online. Um, I never planned on doing this rib here. I'll show you. It's a big plastic tub which will be handy for storing things in at the end when it's empty. These are fizzy blue bottles but there's pink on them. They're small and they're coated with loads of sugar. Their company is Halal Sweets. All their sweeties are Halal. David likes them. I'll try one. They're, they're fizzy. A lot of sugar on them. I'm not sure, <coughs> I'm not sure what flavour it is, what is it, is it blueberry? It's blueberry. It's blueberry, but it's got it's pink good. in it. You can't get into it, no. But they're um, halal and they're fat free. Raspberry. It's blue and raspberry, it's a blue raspberry or something like that. But they're made by the company Sweet Zone, if you want to check out their website, if you're after sweeties for your kids for Christmas or that. I do quite a lot of stuff. And do you know what? I think I've already said that. They're made here in Dundee, in my city. They're made in Dundee. So that's the company Sweet Zone. Check them out, website. Right, okay, go on. Thank oh. you. <coughs> what a cough. Thank you once again for looking at the Hungry Nuts channel. It's bye for me and David. I'll say goodbye. Say goodbye, David. Goodbye, David. And we'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Love you.